Hello everybody, how's it going? I hope you're having a lovely day. So, um, I got a question for you all. Does anybody know how to use this? Does anybody know how to... This maybe? No. Th this? No. No. Hmm. Whoa! What is that? This looks like a scorpion. Oh, this is crazy. Look at that. It actually look, it kind of goes up there like that, and then it turns into a scorpion. Get out of there, you will kill yourself, says Travis. <laughs> nice Tesla, says Wody. <laughs> this is a crane. Press up to shoot. Is that a John Deere? Uh, let's see, what is this? This is a Fent. The John Deere exhibit is uh, two blocks down, closer to the Washington Monument. We already went through the there, and we got an interesting demonstration of one of the John Deere machines that cost a million dollars. Yeah, it doesn't seem to do anything. I'm pretty sure if any of these buttons actually worked, by now I would have mowed down the people over there by accident. Lewis, this isn't a meme car. Oh, it is off. You are good. Yes. You need to press the middle stick. Okay, what do you do with the middle stick? So this is the... No. How are you allowed to drive it there? Um, probably not allowed. I Probably not. Let's see. It has air. Don't tell him. Go, come on, tell me how to drive it. One of you. I thought for a second you bought yourself a helicopter and traded in your bike. There is a helicopter over there, actually. Check it out. But, but I think it's broken. Use the ding thing to speed this up. No, that's not it. Yo, nobody's gonna tell me how to turn this thing on, really? Really? Maybe it's this. Is that a... No. 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 Yeah, not sure. Hmm. You have to... It's an ACC. Turn the key to turn it on. You know what? I'm probably gonna actually wind up running somebody over if I do that. This is kind of cool, though. Is that the radio? Oh, you got a Bluetooth radio. That's cool. Hold your foot in the brake and turn the key. I think if I do that, I'll get arrested. Probably. There's a person to my left that's nodding that if I do that, I'll probably get arrested. Look at what's behind me. Okay, by show of hands, what is the percentage that if I turn this thing on that I would wind up hurting myself or other people by accident? 100%. Okay, that's all I need to know. Time to get out. It's kind of fun though. Look at this thing. Get my bag back on. Hello. Oh, there you go. They all said if I tried to turn it on that I'd probably hurt myself, so I shouldn't do it. Yeah, probably. You guys have probably seen Willie Cade before. Hi, guys. How are you? Good stream. to see you. Having fun here in D.C. Oh, you're on live stream. All right. Yeah. Oh, nice. I asked them how to turn the thing on. <laughs> Nobody would tell me. Ah, <laughs> good. We do not want you having 400 horsepower at your convenience. That's for sure. Especially not with this thing attached to it. It's a pro manure. So where are you staying? Uh, I'm staying out in Alexandria at a friend's house. Hmm. What are you guys up to tonight? All right. Check it out. Here. I'll show you guys the John Deere section if you want to see the John Deere section. I'll show you the million. Do you guys want to see the million dollar tractor? 
I'll show you guys a million dollar tractor. You should come over to the UK. Eh, nothing compelling. Show us the deer. Yeah, I'll show you the deer. It's down this way. Why isn't Lewis wearing a right to repair shirt? Um, I don't usually, I, I try to avoid wearing shirts that either have slogans on them or other people's names on them. You may notice that about most of my clothing. I, it, my clothing does, like, not, not, I can't say it for 100% of it, but I would say 99% of it either does not have a slogan or does not have somebody else's name written on it. Sometimes I fail at that, but I try to be as consistent as I can. You know, the whole idea, if, if there's somebody else's name is on my clothing, it should be cheaper, not more expensive. It's really weird how that works. Like you buy a Calvin Klein shirt, it says Calvin Klein, but the shirt's 50 bucks. I think the shirt should be free if it has somebody else's name on it. But it's weird how that works. It's kind of like the opposite. Yeah, this is AT&T. My brand of advocacy has never been Twitter hashtags, lawn signs, bumper stickers, uh, pins on your backpack. It's ne that's, that's never been what, what, I, what I really thought worked or what I aim for. I aim for, let me show you how to save money fixing something, or let me aim to make this fun for you or personal to you. Or let me show you how you can get your data back when you thought it was gone. And then, hey, by the way, here's how close you were to that not happening, just so you know. You know, I like to get people personally invested and people don't get personally invested in shit because you have a bumper sticker. They don't get personally invested because you have a pin or a t-shirt or a hat. There's one thing you notice if you walk into my store, there is no, there are no, there's no, it doesn't say right to repair anywhere, like nowhere. There's no bumper sticker. There's no uh, front door poster, nothing. But I let people know when I can't get something, why I can't get it. I let people know if there's a six week wait on something rather than two days, why? You know, you get them personally invested. I think people are honestly just kind of sick and tired of the whole bumper sticker, lawn sign, Twitter hashtag brand of advocacy anyway. I think people are tired of that shit five years ago to be honest with you. But. Whoa, it's a milking robot. Bro, it's a milking robot. No tank milk wasted. And it's a fake car. Hello. I don't know what I'd use that for. I spent 33 years living in New York City. <laughs> I don't know what the hell I use that for. I don't have a cow. I'm no farmer. Do not hook yourself up to that thing, Lewis. Take him. You know what? Yeah, you're right. I'm not going to do that. Hey, dare you to mess with a sensor on a John Deere. All right, let's have some fun. Let's do it. All right, we got a, got a tractor over here. This will be some fun. By the way, one thing that you guys should know is that on their legislative agenda, AEM, who's sponsoring this all, Association of Equipment Manufacturers, it was not on their agenda to lobby against right to repair for the year. I don't know if that was a typo, or if it was just implied that they're gonna do it so they didn't mention it. But it's very interesting that they didn't. So we may have knocked an enemy off the list. It's gonna be really cool if we actually did knock an enemy off the list there. So here we go. Just turn off the phone vibrating because that's probably really annoying. Look at this shit. Dude. 
This is gigantic. Look at this. This is crazy. This is so cool. Look at all the stuff that could probably break on this. All the belts and all the... Bro. My bike has one DC brushless motor and that's it. Three phase brushless motor. Pretty cool. It kind of looks like a kill dozer. This kind of reminds me of the kill dozer. There's a lot of stuff that can break on this, like a lot. I mean, just looking at all the different places where there's, you have wiring harnesses going through. I mean, this just seems like a dealer's wet dream when it comes to the ability to have revenue for a long period of time. Just, I don't know what it is about all the different hoses and all the different wiring harnesses and all the different places where wiring harnesses could get caught on something else but all the belts the wheel like it's just there's so many infinite possibilities for this thing to stop working The amount of time that you probably spend just checking everything on this and then preparing it is probably more time than my actual commute with my own vehicle. Just to turn this thing on, I can imagine. Self-propelled combine since 1947, it says up there. Since 1947. Yeah, where does it say that? I zoom too much. Middle stick, hold the button on the back stick and push it forward two times. Brown cleavers. I'm afraid that if I do that, all those people would wind up. Yeah. This is. Thank you. Mm. Green apple. make this very quick. A bunch of people are waiting to climb up this thing. You go, you guys go first. Oh, that's really okay. Yeah, it's going to take 20 years. That's They can probably tell I climbed this ladder like I was born in Brooklyn. Okay, how do you work this shit? Yo, it has new car smell. It actually has new car smell. That is so cool. Here's a cup holder. I got a cup holder for that stupid overpriced water I got before. Look at the view. Based. This is cool. Steering wheel's got that nice little torque feeling to it. 
Uh, the switches, they feel so nice. It smells like the inside of a 1992 Pontiac Grand Prix. I don't know why that's in my mind. So let's see. All right, so to turn you on, PP Bush G3 Hot goes from 12.23 to 12.56 if I do this. No, okay. Let's see, SMC on off L is going to be you? No. SMC on off L is going to be you? No. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Yo, where are they finding 4-3 aspect ratio screens for this shit, by the way? Look at this. Look at the screen. This is 4-3 aspect ratio. Where, look, at how, look at how wide this shit is. Look at that. From there to there. All the way across. What do you even do with this? There's a bunch of spikes on it. This looks like something used to kill people in Game of Thrones, but like kill multiple people at the same time. It would be so cool to drive up to the Apple Store on 9th Avenue and 14th Street and say, yo... It's time for those CD3217s, bro. Okay. Oh, okay. You want to say no? All right, cool. We just hit the... I don't even know which one's the gas. It's either this or this. I'll figure it out. It's one or the other, you know? Can't be that hard. The thing is, this thing's a million dollars. This thing's a million dollars. So, that's kind of... I don't know. The guy that made the kill dozer probably did it on a... More, more affordably. That is cool. Now to get out of here without falling. Do not fall, do not fall, do not fall. Hmm. We'll see if those physical therapy exercises I was doing for my quadriceps tear actually worked. And they didn't die, so I guess they did. All right, time to... See what they got over here. Cool place. Huh. Kind of cool. That's about it. See you all in the next video. Bye now.